agents, welcome back. Today we are thrilled to have Scott Weidenhaus here with us from Globus. And the reason why we invited Scott today is we are finding that European travel is becoming more and more popular and you might be finding that as well. But are you confident in promoting European travel? Now, Scott is an actual tour director with Globus and so welcome, Scott. Thank you for joining us. Oh, well, thank you for having me. How did you actually become a tour director? Uh, just a series of uh, coincidences and a little bit of fate, if you will. Uh, I was actually working in finance uh, for a bank, and a friend of mine was a tour guide. And one weekend he asked me to ride the bus with him to Paris, and uh, just for fun, if you will. And I saw him uh, riding around Paris in his coach, talking with his clients, and you know, having a lot of fun, and I wasn't necessarily having a lot of fun wearing a tie and sitting in a bank all day long. And, and you actually uh, were living in Europe at the I was time. living in Europe. I was raised in Europe and in Africa, and uh, because of my father's job, um, though I spent high school in America, and I went straight back to Europe after high school. Uh, so that's how I came to the front of a coach, actually, was that one little experience uh, riding around Paris with my uh, one of my best friends from university. And I asked him if I could perhaps find work as a guide, and he said, absolutely. And next thing you know, I was in the front of the bus myself. Oh. And that was 22 years ago. And you've been with Globus ever since? No, actually, that wasn't Globus. That was okay. a little company uh, that serviced American soldiers mm -hmm. in Germany. Uh, I came to Globus in 1998, so this is my 16th season now at Globus. Okay, I see. Now... You know, we get asked a lot as travel agents about Europe, and our agents are, a lot of them haven't had the opportunity to experience Europe and um, would like to be able to sell and promote it. And I think one of the biggest questions that come up from our agents is what is the difference between an escorted tour and just a typical vacation package? Okay. Well, actually, that's a great question. Um, you know, the these um, independent vacation packages people can purchase uh, and go to Europe provide them with hotel rooms. Um, some provide them perhaps even a half a day sightseeing tour in a city. Uh, but essentially, the people are on their own, and, and they have to be prepared to... Um, you know, uh, figure out how the public transport works and uh, get themselves uh, to museums and sites that they want to see. And, Euros. And <laughs> Euros, of course, or pounds or Swiss mm -hmm. francs, all the different currencies mm -hmm. that are out there. And uh, naturally as well, uh, they have to be prepared for language barriers and all of these uh, sorts of things. The list is uh, almost infinite mm -hmm. uh, in that regard. That's an independent vacation. Mm -hmm. An escorted vacation is a vacation where people come, they book our tour at Globus, um, regardless if it's an Italian tour, an England tour, or in my case, a trip through the Alps or in Eastern Europe, and they'll arrive uh, on the continent to see us or to, for their vacation, and uh, they'll find me there at the airport waiting for them, and I'll remain with them for the rest of the trip. We travel as a group in the bus. Uh, we have many dinners included on a typical escorted vacation, and we dine together, we sightsee together, and uh, of course we all stay in the same hotel together. Having said that, naturally on these tours we realize that the clients find it so important to have free time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you find on typical Globus tours that you have a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. On a typical day you'll have a sightseeing in the morning, and then you'll have an afternoon free for independent exploration. But you're not on your own in that regard. You have a tour director with you all the time. Someone to ask questions, help with the currency Exactly, exchange. translations. We also, on a typical escorted vacation at Globus, we also make great use of the step-on guide or the local guide. Mm -hmm. And these are people who join our tours in every city and often in many small towns as well, and they come to share very specific knowledge about that town, that city, that region, mm -hmm. whatever it might be. So what, can you give us an explanation as far as what types of tours they're going on? The museums, the sightseeing? Well, when you're on a sightseeing tour, or when you're on a tour in general, mm -hmm. an escorted tour, uh, you can always, of course, read the uh, itinerary brochure. And at Globus, these itineraries, as written in the catalog, are very accurate, in fact. Mm -hmm. And they really tell you what you can expect to see and where you can expect to have an inside visit. The day-to-day -day sightseeing really depends on the city we're in and what's important in that mm -hmm. city. 
Um, we'll do, of course, a bit in the bus where you're doing a drive, an orientation drive, and in, in, uh, seeing many, many different sites. Then naturally we make stops where people get out to photograph um, or to you know walk into a park to see a special mm -hmm. statue. And then uh, we have the inside visits, the included inside visits. And uh, these can cover the gamut of being a museum, like mm -hmm. the Louvre, where you would go to see, of course, Mona Lisa. Or perhaps it is uh, a, in um, the Bavarian countryside, and you're going to see the very famous Cinderella's castle, Neuschwanstein. In America, everyone knows this is Walt Disney's castle, mm -hmm. but in fact, it was built by a very famous Bavarian king in the 1800s. Wow. For us, that's an inside visit. Mm -hmm. The Sistine Chapel in Rome, we mm -hmm. take you in. Okay. Now, what about meals on an escorted tour? Well, we have mm -hmm. every day at Globus, um, a signature, actually, trademark, if you will, of our tours is mm -hmm. the big international buffet. In Europe, Normal people, regular everyday Europeans, mm -hmm. they eat bread and cheese and butter for breakfast, maybe jelly or things mm -hmm. like that. We know that our clientele, the American clientele, likes big breakfast, eggs, bacon, yogurt, mm -hmm. cheese, cold cuts, bread, pastry, juice, coffee, tea, the works. Mm -hmm. This is something we do extra for our clients mm -hmm. on our tours, and every morning they'll have that. Mm -hmm. Lunches are generally on your own mm -hmm. to sample bakeries and try a little bread and maybe sit in a restaurant, whatever it is, eat mm -hmm. a sausage in Germany. And then in the evenings, uh, we have basically every other night of a tour, but it depends. You have to really look at the brochure and see. But every other night or more, you'll have a dinner included. And this is generally a three or four course meal with soup or salad, main course and dessert. Also, always coffee and tea mm -hmm. included. It seems ideal for the client because they have that extra security of having someone there to answer questions, the translation, as you mentioned, the currency exchange, mm -hmm. give them a little feel about the destination mm -hmm. that they're visiting, but then they also get a little bit of free time on their own every single day. So I think that's really important. Um, now, also I understand that you um, handle some religious tours as well. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we actually at Globus, uh, they have a, a very special catalog now for religious journeys. And uh, these religious journeys actually cover some of the most important religious sites in the world, you know, including into Israel. Uh, in Europe, we have several in Italy. We have some Catholic journeys. And uh, in my region, the Alpine and Central European region, we have a journey that's devoted to the Protestant Reformation, mm -hmm. which really finds its origins in that part of the world. Many people might say, well, you know, I'm really interested in learning about, more about the history of, say, Protestantism, mm -hmm. because, of course, we have many in, in, mm -hmm. in America, but I don't want to go sit on a bus that's just all about religion. I, you know, I still, I want to go to Europe and see also other sites, not just churches. And that's the beauty of these religious programs at Globus. It's not your typical pilgrimage where you're going to church every single day and sitting through a service and that your whole tour is devoted to religion. But these tours have a focus on religion and we take you to the most important places within that region that relate to the 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 religious tour that you're mm -hmm. on. You could almost think of it as sort of fun faith, if you will. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Little faith, little fun, but we're not overloading you in that sense. Okay. Now, that brings me to a very important question. What would you say a typical client or a typical you know, passenger that goes on an escorted tour, because a lot of people think this is just more the senior citizens that would want an escorted tour. Do you find that to be the case? Oh, I'll tell you what. Um, in fact, uh, <laughs> it's always the, the, the question we get. I, I've heard it now as I've been traveling America, giving talks and such, and I hear it on the bus all the time when the clients arrive at the airport. You know, uh, am I going to be the oldest one on this bus, or is this bus going to be filled just with blue-haired people? No, not at all. Um, on our tours right now, the average age is uh, something around 50 across the board. You are going to see multi-generational groups, which is a fantastic thing for the agents to know. Multi-generational tours. Grandma, grandpa wanting to take the grandkids with them on a summer holiday for a high school graduation or a college graduation to open the world up to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a great thing. So you see the, the absolute gamut from high school kids uh, all the way up to 95 was the oldest I've ever had in the bus. Wow. Everything okay. is there. 
Okay. Now, Globus has two products. They have their... Um, well, actually, we have four products. Well, exactly. Okay. But let's just, with this, with a Scorted Tours. Okay. Um, you have the Globus, basically your first class products, mm -hmm. and then the Cosmo, Cosmos Value Escorted Tours. What are okay. the differences? Okay, well, um, if I may, actually, I, I really think you have to bring into this equation also the independent travel as and well. And because monograms. Because the agents out there will be looking at all three of these, right. thinking what's best. Mm -hmm. Monograms, independent travel, simplified. We take the stress out of hotels and transport between cities and offer a sightseeing tour in the morning and local host at fixed office hours for really the most independent type of traveler. Not as much, many escorted tours. No, okay. only one. Only one. Only okay. one. Okay. And that's it. Just mm -hmm. in the morning, then you're on your own and a host who appears in the hotel mm -hmm. at fixed times. Mm -hmm. That's for one type of traveler. Then we have Cosmos and Globus. Cosmos is our value-oriented package. Mm -hmm. Cosmos uh, is um, less expensive. It offers fewer inclusions, fewer uh, inside sightseeing mm -hmm. visits, these sorts of things. And the hotels, while excellent hotels, they are not located in the, uh, they're not centrally located necessarily in the downtown of a city, but rather they're located on the periphery of a city. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, for instance, well, yeah, say in a, a tour to Rome, you would be in downtown Rome. Mm -hmm. With Cosmos, you would be somewhere in the surroundings mm -hmm. of a city. Those are the basic differences. Okay. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Oh, um, no. Because I recently <laughs> just got back from Europe, and I'm sure that you get a lot of clients that they're their first-timers, never been to Europe. What's mm -hmm. their reaction when they see Europe for the first time? Usually awe and wonder. Uh, awe and wonder. Uh, people are uh, so surprised. I mean, they've read about Europe and they've, you know, they've seen pictures and heard things. But when you experience the first time, experience it the first time, on your own, it is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't know a better word um, in that sense. Uh, mm -hmm. People are overwhelmed by the sights, the sounds, the different foreign languages. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great destination mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, safe. Mm -hmm. In general, excellent food, excellent bread, wonderful sights. And one of the things that I found is as you're traveling through Europe, you know, every destination is a little different. The food's a little different. The Absolutely. The scenery is different. The language is different. The shopping yeah. is different. So it's just it's such a, uh, a unique experience um, being able to visit a destination and come away with so much Absolutely. from one vacation. Now, what a lot of our agents don't know is um, being a travel agent, you can receive up to 50% discount actually traveling yourself to Europe. Um, can you tell our agents what would be the advantage of them going on a Globus or a Cosmos escorted tour? Uh, it's in order to be able to sell the package uh, even better than you currently are, uh, you need to experience what it is like to be on an escorted tour and to be on an escorted tour in the Globus or Cosmos style and fashion. Um, and it's for this reason, in fact, that we encourage the agents with this great discount to join regular tours, not fam tours. Not where you're sitting with your colleagues in a bus, but where you're sitting with your clients in a bus. And you hear their reaction, see their reaction, you see the service, you see the porters carrying the luggage down in the morning, the fantastic coach drivers that are in charge mm -hmm. of our buses in the front, the captains of our mm -hmm. buses as they are, mm -hmm. the beautiful red and white striped buses with Globus on the side, the mm -hmm. fantastic hotels, and then you're able to go home and say, I did a tour, mm -hmm. and uh, I got everything that was in that catalog, they're not messing around that way, and uh, had a great time. Mm -hmm. Great, and I hope our agents take advantage of that. Absolutely, we'd love to welcome you. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have a briefcase of products to sell, um, you know, and it's all about working smart. Choose the products that are easy to sell, that sell themselves, and that earn a high commission. And with Globus products, you can earn 
up to an 18% commission. Um, so get to know Globus, and the best way to get started is by visiting www.globusfamilypartner.com. Go through the Travel University for the different products that they offer. Become familiar with Globus. And if you're not registered with Globus, you can email Tyler at tyler at khmtravelgroup.com, and he will get you registered. So thank you, everyone, and biz bold, which is uh, bye for now in German. Did I say that correct? Something until we meet again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye.